Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the newest unit from Anchor, the F3800 Plus. This is probably the most excited we've been for a solar generator drop in a while. That's because the F3800 was already one of the best selling units on our platform, and it looks like they've upgraded the handful of things that needed to be upgraded. This video, we're gonna be doing an overview, what's new, how to use it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we just got this in late last week, so we'll be doing some more long-term testing, so more videos to follow. But without further ado, let's jump into what's new, what's improved, and what they still need to work on for the new Anchor F3800 Plus. It's kept the exact same design as the original F3800, but that's actually a good thing. It uses this up-down design, similar to a suitcase actually, which makes it very, very handy and practical. You can roll it around the house, tuck it away in a corner, and we find it to be super, super useful. The two wheels on the front have a locking mechanism, and so when you got it in the place that you need it to be, boom, you lock it down and you're good to go. The front of the unit is where you've got the screen, the main power button, a car outlet, great for 12 volt fridges, stuff like this, and some USB outlets. The left hand side is where we've got the AC output ports. So that's like your standard household plugs, your larger plug for an RV, a camper, and then your 240 volt output port. You can turn on these outlets by pressing the little button on the top right, and that's gonna turn on all these outlets so that you can start using the power. So the right-hand side of the unit is kind of the input side of the solar generator. If you wanna charge it up, connect an external battery, the right-hand side is where that's gonna be done. Right up at the top here, they've got what they call the generator adapter port. Think of this as how you would seamlessly integrate, if you already have a gas generator or something like that, you'd seamlessly integrate it here into the unit and then into your house or into an external battery bank or something along those lines. We've got the wall charger plug here and we've got here, what I'm probably the most excited about with this unit and, and why it's so cool, but it's the upgraded solar input. So yeah, we'll talk more about that later, but this is what really makes this unit exciting. We've got the expansion battery port here. So this is where you'll plug in your expansion batteries. And this last one here, I'm actually not even positive what it is yet, so more info on that to come. What it has on the front photo here though, is it looks like a, a generator, maybe a smart generator. It's got the same port though as the smart battery. So I'm assuming Anchor is gonna be coming out with maybe a smart gas generator or something like that. But yes, the right hand side is the input side of the solar generator. Another thing to touch on with the design is that you're able to use it in a horizontal position. They put little rubber bumpers on the feet here so that you can lay it down and use it that way if that's easier for your setup. A lot of people in RV or campers, they tend to have to use it lying down like this, so you're able to do that as well. Another thing to talk about quickly is their app. You can pretty much control the entire unit from your phone. So if you have this set up, like I'm gonna have this set up, which is kind of a backup power system for my home, then I will be able to control the entire unit from my phone very easily. You can see turning on, off the light, turn on and off the screen, control everything that you need from your phone, super useful. Let's talk about some of the specs of this unit as well. It's the same battery capacity and the same output as the last one, which is good because they were fantastic. It's still a 3,840 watt hour battery. It's lithium iron phosphate, kind of what we've come to expect from units like this. And it's still a 6,000 watt inverter. It does 120 and 240 volt output from this single unit here. One of the changes though is that it used to have two 240 volt output. So we used to have one up here and one up here. We've gotten rid of that actually. This is now a 30 amp 120 volt output and just a single 240 volt output. That's actually way more useful now. People with RVs and campers who need the 30 amp 120 volt plug on the front on the side, you actually have that now. And we've gone down to just a single 240 volt output. This works with all transfer switches and whatnot. And so that's gonna accomplish anything you really need. Without a doubt though, the great greatest improvement to the F3800 Plus is the new solar input. The previous version of the F3800 had a max solar input of 2400 watts. It also had a weird voltage range, which just meant it was hard to connect a bunch of solar panels into this to actually get 2400 watts. And then even at 2400 watts, it really wasn't enough for a unit of this size. They really have fixed that completely and they've now upgraded both of these ports to a maximum 
of 165 volts, which means you can get close to 4,000 watts into this unit here. So in terms of the negatives or things that I think people will wanna know, first one being is this is quite heavy. There's no way around that. I'm by myself here and I had to lift this up onto the table and it was extremely difficult. <laughs> We're talking like over 120 pounds, I think. Uh, so very, very heavy. The second one being the solar adapters. It's a proprietary adapter to get into the unit. The other end is an MC4, so that is good. You can use any solar panels, but to get it into the actual uh, unit here, this looks like a proprietary adapter to me. So if it was an XT60 or something, I'd be able to get those very easily over Amazon or whatever, but this proprietary one is a little bit annoying, meaning you really can't lose these. So with the F3800, you're actually able to connect two of them together, which will then double the output. So you can connect two of these and then get 12,000 watts of output. You can also stack batteries onto here, get close to 54 kilowatt hours of storage. What this means is you can expand this to power your entire house, really, and back up your entire house if you want to. In terms of who buys units like this though, we really have seen three groups of people that end up purchasing or getting value from a unit like this. The first one is somebody who wants some generalized backup power, and that's obviously the biggest group of people here. Think of, you know, East Coast, you might get hit with storms and hurricanes, and you know you're gonna be without power, and so you want something like this. Yes, it'll keep the essentials running, but it also in the single unit has 240 volt output, so if you want to do something crazy and power a massive compressor, I don't know. You actually can with a unit like this with one unit without having to get multiple. The second group of people is, yes, they do want backup power, but they have a secondary use for it. So they might have a camper, an RV, van life, something like this, and they're able to use this to power that as well. So they can get backup power at home. And then if they wanna go camping or go on a trip, they can also use this here. So it's a kind of a double use. The third group of people that we're really starting to see purchase units like this are people that are actually kind of trying to take advantage of time of use power settings where they live. Now that Anchor has the home power panel coming up, you can connect a single one, you can connect two of them and you really can start leveraging kind of cheap power to fill it up and then use this when you have expensive time of use settings. My prediction is that this is going to become a lot more popular now because they have increased the solar input. You're actually able to get a heck of a lot more solar into this and so this becomes a, a much more kind of realistic option for taking advantage of time of use settings. If you have any other questions, you want to know more, reach out to us. Our team is super excited to talk to people about this. This is probably the most exciting we've been for solar generator drop and I don't know at least in, at least in 2025 anyway